Jody had an idea to bolt down our measuring stand. Justin followed it through and bolted it down. Nicely done. Steve Fulcher realized there was a lot of wasted motion and uh, damaged uh, a lath underneath, so he added some more new stations so you, we don't have to waste as much motion. Nicely done. Stu noticed the clamps were causing defects, so he added some Kaizen foam to the end of the clamps to eliminate the damage. Nicely done. I was wasting time when I brought my laptop back and forth to the boardroom, getting my USB ports and HDMI cables to fit in the right way. Okay, this is something that's been bugging me once again, almost since I started here. Walking from this door all the way around to the vents takes longer than it does to walk from this door around to the vents this way. So we'll go for a walk here. Going to these vents. And my idea was to clean all this mess out. It's not a mess anymore because the boys from the sawmill cleaned out a lot of it. But I've been picking away at it. Moving this cable up here where it kind of belongs. Pushing this into the wall, cutting off the other side so we don't run into it. The theory is if this is all clean, then you can wander along here. You can see if somebody's broken into the fence. and. We won't be shoveling sawdust all the time, piled up against the fence, because it'll be a pathway and it'll naturally be kept clean. So that was my logic around it. Not to mention the time savings going from side to side. How much time does it save, Jody? I think I timed it, it was five seconds a trip or something. Five seconds a trip, a couple of times is, a day when we're drying wood, so. Yeah, and it, it adds up. I did the math over the year. I can't remember what it is, but. It's significant, I'm sure. It's time, yeah. So we have a few little things to do, like the, get this up off the ground, get these rocks out of here, break it up, make it into a pathway, and the <laughs> public driving by here can see a beautiful path instead of a pile of sawdust. Awesome. Okay, so we've smoothed out this new pathway here. Uh, we just have to put this wire into a piece of conduit, but for now it's going to stay there. Painted the uh, gas line yellow. We, we can see it's still wet. <laughs> That's the proper color for gas. Gas lines are always yellow. Yeah, now we can walk back here to the vents, which are over here. We can walk back again. Back to the front door. Awesome, good work. Part of the work you can visually see everything's good. We've been using this Mafel bandsaw over here, but we've been keeping the bands for it in the electrical room when they could be in here. So we've been walking back and forth, and we also don't really have any uh, tool storage or spots to hang things, but we have some ideas. These woodworking clamps are in the metal area, so we removed these, oiled them and there were some that were completely broken that we threw out. So we've designed a, a French cleat system for hanging clamps and saw blades. Uh, and I think later on, this is just a prototype, but we'll see how this works for like the height and location. But we're thinking about putting cleats all the way across all the walls and having really uh, flexible uh, storage solutions for tools. Nicely done, guys. Woo! Okay, so we just noticed this area over here. We have um, this steel cart and a wheel thing. Uh, and um, maybe a dock or a deck. We're not really sure. So we're going to clean this area up. And we'll show you the video after. Okay, so here we are. Got this whole corner all cleared out. A lot of it was excess inventory that had a lot of defects, and we kept what was usable. Go team!